Okay, it ain't no use by the meter. So uh, the intro kind of starts off with this uh, D minor. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the fifth fret and you know, if you're playing a D minor here, you know, we kind of bar uh, the fifth fret uh, of the A through the uh, high E string. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that bar and we're gonna hammer down the rest of the chord. So we're gonna kind of hammer down that sixth fret of your B and the seventh of your G and your D. So we have the fifth, and we hammer down to the other. Like that. Okay? So once we hammer the D minor, we're going to strum down, up, down. And on that last down, we're going to pull off back to just the fifth fret. So we'll have this slowly. Okay, now we're gonna jump to an A minor seven chord right after that. So we're just gonna bar the fifth fret right there and then we're gonna play the seventh fret of the A string. And then we're just gonna jump down to a G minor seven. So the exact same fingering, but we're gonna bar on the third fret and play the fifth fret of the A. So we get this together slowly. Okay, now right after that we have this little intro riff. All right, so the, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna play the seventh fret of your D string to the fifth fret. And then we're gonna jump to the eighth fret of the A, and then jump right back to the fifth fret of the D. So, so far we have this. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the eighth fret of the A, and then we're gonna jump to the fifth fret of the A, and now the eighth fret of the E, and the fifth fret of the E. So, so we'll put those two parts together. One more time. And now we're just going to shoot right to the 5th fret of the A string again. So we'll get this. So if you wanted to play this riff a little bit easier, uh, you could use the open strings. So you would start on the 2nd fret of your uh, G to the open, and then we'll go to the third fret of your D, and then right back to the open G. And then we'll go back to the third fret of the D, now open, then the third fret of your A, then open. And then open D. So, so far we have this. Now for the verse of this song, we really have the same chord progression going on here. We're just going to hold them out kind of longer. So... So we're going to play a D minor, and then we're going to go to the A minor 7, and then to the G minor 7, and then back to the A minor 7. For the strum of this, you could kind of think like down, down, up, down, down. So slowly. All right. And then that next chord will kind of come in on the and right before the downbeat. So to kind of switch just a little bit, it kind of almost sounds a little bit early. So.
So we come in on that right before the downbeat for that A minor seven, and then we kind of have that down, down, up, down, down. So it's the same kind of rhythm. And we'll do the exact same thing going to the G minor seven. So. We'll kind of use that A minor seven as kind of a walk up to get right back to the D minor uh, for our chord progression to uh, uh, circle around. So I'm going to play through the chords and the rhythm slowly. So there's the chords for the verse. Okay, for the next section of the song, I'm gonna go ahead and play each part of the riff first, and then we'll kind of break down the notes and how it goes. Okay, so we're gonna start on the fifth fret of your low E, and then we're gonna go from the fifth fret to the third fret of your A, and then two, we're gonna play the fifth fret of your A twice. And then right back to the third fret. Now, we're gonna go fifth fret of the A to the third fret, to the fifth fret of your E to the third fret. Now, we're going to jump to the 5th fret of your A, to the 3rd fret of your D, and then we're just going to kind of repeat that opposite. We're going to play the 3rd fret of the D again, and then the 5th fret of your A. So all together we should have this slowly. Okay, so the second part of this, we're going to start it the exact same way. That starts exactly the same. Okay? Then the second part, right after that, we're gonna go from the fifth fret of the A to the third fret of the A. Then we're gonna go to the fifth fret of the low E, and we're gonna go five, four, three, and then to the one. Now, we're gonna jump right back to that third fret of the D, and then to the fifth fret of the A. It's kind of ending it the exact same way we, in, we ended the first one. So the second part of the riff sounds like this. Okay, the third riff is identical to the first riff. So there's nothing that's gonna change here. So, exact same as the first time. And then the fourth time is almost just like the second one, but it's a little bit different. So here's the last time. We'll start it the same way as we did the second one. All of that's the same. The only thing we're gonna add is right after we play the three of the D and the five of the A, we're gonna play the three of the A and then also the five of the E. So all together, the last time of the riff will sound like this. So the whole riff, all four times, should sound like this. Now, this is a long song that has a lot of jamming going on. So, But for the most part, these are the bare bones uh, pieces that everything's kind of built around. There's one other part where there's kind of this walk down of the chords. 
and uh, right before a lot of the solos. And really what happens here is we're going to go from that D minor we had, and then we're going to go to a C, and that's going to be we're going to bar the third fret, and we're going to play the fifth fret of the D, G, and the B string. And then we're going to play a B flat, so it's the exact same fingering, but we're going to bar on the first fret and play the third fret of the D, G, and B. And then we're going to play an A minor 7, just like we have in the song. And then we're going to go to a G minor 7. right back into the rest so that was it ain't no use by the meters uh, it's a cool song it's got a long jam also within it so it's kind of fun just to noodle around on it's in the key of d minor so feel free for all your d minor pentatonic blues and anything like that all that works safe and sounds great over it uh, if you have any questions just let me know and i'll see you next time thanks mm -hmm.